Uh, fellow Ugandans, I greet you, those that are watching us from within the country and those in the diaspora. Allow me to wish you a happy new year, but most importantly, to welcome all of us from the year 2020. It was such a challenging year, and right now we can all say Alhamdulillah. We can thank the Almighty God for delivering us from a year, a year that was full of challenges. It was in 2020 that we were attacked by the global pandemic of COVID-19. This is when our nation was locked down, which lockdown came with a lot of economic challenges to very many Ugandans. But again, this is when the Museveni regime used this opportunity to borrow a lot of money, which money was not used to better our healthcare system, but the same money was used to continuously oppress our people. A big chunk of it was stolen, unfortunately. In this year, we have lost so many Ugandans. Many of them, we lost them to natural causes, and many of them died of unexplained deaths. We continue to remember outstanding deaths, like one of Sheikh Mozata, which up to now is a big question in the minds of all of us. I want to send my heartfelt condolences to all the people that have lost loved ones in the year 2020. Many state-sanctioned murders happened from the killing of Rita Nabu Kenya to Dani Cheyune to very many other Ugandans. But again, the world is still trying to come to terms with the November massacre where more than 100 innocent citizens of Uganda were killed on the orders of General Museveni. We also remember that many people like uh, Omar Abone, like Hussein Walugembe, were killed. And in the very recent days, we just buried our comrade, Frank. Frank was murdered, run over by a military police patrol car. And as usual, there was no report, there was no explanation from those that killed him. We've seen journalists attacked beaten and as we speak right now one of the journalists Ashraf Kasirie is recovering in hospital with a very deep cut that shattered his skull. I'm happy to report to you that the doctors encouraged us the sheriff will be well although it will take quite a long time. I was able to visit him and is responding well although he's not able to talk but at least he opens his eyes, which we expected to happen in two weeks. By the grace of God, that has happened in just uh, over 48 hours. As I speak to you, ladies and gentlemen, more than 100 of our close working campaign team members are incarcerated. Some are still in Kalangala. Some are at Masaka Central Police Station, while others, we are informed, are detained in Kasaja Girwa military barracks. Those that were able to access them have informed us that they have gone through grave torture. Some of them cannot even stand. Just yesterday, a group of medical doctors was seen at Masaka CPS trying to treat some of our members. These are people that did not have a single wound when they were arrested. And yes, I must say that comrades like Nubian Lee, Dan Magic, and Eddie Mutwe, nobody knows where they are. They were separated from the other detainees, and up to now, we don't know where they are. We only get um, reports that they've been gravely tortured. We continue to demand for their immediate release. But ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, disagreeing with General Museveni, has become a death sentence. We condemn that in the strongest terms possible. This is what General Museveni has always claimed to have fought against. General Museveni has always called swine the regimes that came before him. 
for abusing the rights of the citizens. Unfortunately, his regime that has become now a regime of blood and national shame is doing the same things or even worse. We have seen abductions of our people. Ladies and gentlemen, the days of Pandagari are back. More than 1,000 of our supporters have been kidnapped. Some are held in military incarceration, while others have disappeared and are not seen to death. We have learned that some have been charged in military court. Innocent citizens, they are charged in military court and they are remanded, while some of them are not seen at all. We have also seen a wave of attack on sports people, and in particular, the boxers. Some more than 20 days ago, a renowned professional boxer who is retired, Justin Juko, was arrested in Masaka. And it was until a few days ago that he was re, uh, released without any charges. Joko was held in military detention without any knowledge and without any access of his family, lawyers, or doctor. We are also aware that a one Joe Vegas Rubega, a champion boxer attached to the National Unity Platform, was arrested, and up to now, nobody knows where he is. We are also informed that Coach Chiza uh, who, uh, who runs a gym in Chisenyi at Social Center was abducted by the military and up to now we have not known where he is. Ladies and gentlemen, as if that is not enough, all of you woke up to the brutal murder of a renowned boxer, Isaac Senyange, popularly known as Zebra Mando. Zebra was a personal friend to me, but he was a friend to so many people. Zebra was a boxer, and I trained with him uh, in the past days. Zebra was a strong supporter of the National Resistance Movement, the NRM. But Zebra was attacked by security personnel and was brutally murdered in his home in Waisi. We all didn't believe because he was murdered in the same way as Abidiga was murdered, in the same way as Afande Chirumira was murdered, in the same way as Kawesa was murdered. Same style, execution style. It was until Genoma 7 came up on the 31st of December 2020 and indeed made it clear that Zebra was murdered by security. He went ahead to explain that security had gone to arrest Zebra and question him, but they ended up murdering him. What the world doesn't understand is how security goes to question a renowned supporter of the regime, murders him and leaves him where he was murdered. Nobody has been arrested in connection to the murder of Zebra. We only know that the president called the widow and send a condolence money to the widow. This is the same thing that General Museveni has been doing, always being the first person to show up on the murder scenes of the people. But again, making sure that no report is made. As we all know, no report came out of the murder of Kawesa. No report came out of the murder of Kagezi. No report came out of the murder of Afande Chirumira. And we know that no report will come out of the murder of Zebra. Chino Kancho Gerene Muruganda. Zebra Yatemudua. Zebra Yadimu Kwano Gwange. Ngabok Samone. Ngamu Vubukamone. Ngageto Youth Mune. Era Zebra Yadimu Wagizinyo. Wa NRM. Na ye Ngamani Ngamu Kwano Gwe. Zebra. We are saying by Okurabika. Mukatambi ka video yali ayogera na RCC ne DPC ngababa sabo rukusa okujja okuba bawagizi bafe no bakolako efujjo chana kunyo nti abantu 
zebra baba da kolera kubanga fimanyi ti ababa ntibai na mukwano baba kozesa bokozesa na ekisera bwe kituuka nga te bacha kwetaga nawe ne bakutemula nga baba de batemula abalala zebra yatemudwa zebra yatemudwa okusinzira ku bigambo bya mutabani we ne ku bigambo bya mchala we yatemudwa abasirikali abajide mu motoka eze chikacha drone e motoka ze zimu ze muze mulaba nga ziwamba abantu nga ziba kwata tukirituro uzanti ze ze motoka eza kwata juko ze motoka eza kwata uh, jo vega sirubega ze motoka eza wamba coach chiza wa social center mu kisenyi paka katinga tanaba kulabika zebula na atemulwa twabade chebu zemfa ya zebula paka mwami mu 7 bwe yavuddeyo na kakasa tidala kitufu abasirikale be be batemude zebula era ni yetunda ndi ali sore era na gamba ndikati ye ye diza ovuna nyizwa obo kunonyereza kubatemu abatemu de zebula nyenga fena tumanyi tente mula ye muje batemu de mu zebula tente mula je batemu la mafande kawesa yente mula je batemu la bawa mama fina yente mula je batemu la muganda wa fabrika yente mula je batemu la kirumira na era okuva ku bamba atemula pako lwalero tewali report yale furumye mami mu 7 ya chikomezao ngabo eri enkola ye ndibata abana bafe na ene bale ita amabugo ebe nebiko mao era yabereza na mwandu amabugo ngalinga mugamba dibao twa muse genda oguleyo zebra omulala echo no chana kunyo tuchivumirira na njagala chigende eri mwe na mwe na ba ghetto youth njagala chigende eri mwe na mwe na ba boxer njagala chigende eri mwe na mwe na ba na Uganda abavubuka na dalamwe bibakoze sa okole bikolobero kuba namwe kubange no government ya mu 7 iyo busuavu tesobola kuyimirira wonga tekoze seza abantu na chibagamba county nobody can keep you a slave without your permission ye fetu ba permission ne bakoze safe ne bakoze safe okumenya mayumba ga bandi ne bakoze safe okugoba abantu kutaka ne bakoze safe okutulugunya abantu ne bakoze safe okukuba no kutemula no kusirisa abo abagezaako atokulwanira edembe lya balala ne oluvanyuma lwa byonna na fe ne batuzikiza bwe bato baisa chiwana bwe bato bakoza abantu bonna bonna ne muganda wa fe zebra bwe bamuisiza kitalo nyo echa zebra na ye nchikuteka ko mwami mu 7 you are responsible for the death of these young people we cannot wait to live in a uganda where life is precious where the lives of young people is taken seriously is valued chitalo nyo chitalo dala echa muganda wa fe zebra mando it's on the same note that i want to mention that it is not only zebra that was murdered but also a young man called robert mukasa who was zebra's close friend he was arrested by the same security on the day zebra was murdered the following day Robert was found in Bombo, dead and abandoned in a bush. Chana kunyo, tuwama zo kutemula zebra, negu bamu kutena ye, Robert, neba musanze atidua. President uwe guanga ye njini, ya vudeyo na kakasa, tia abantu abase zebra abamanyi. Nera chimanyi duwa, tia abase zebra, beba kute ne Robert, kubanga na ye abade boksa. Era, nazuri wa, ngafude. So it is clear, Ntikati obutemu, buli official government is sanctioning obutemu, nebaja nebate mula umuntu, echo nechiko mao. Echo no chanaku, that is what we are fighting to end. I've already mentioned that so many people have been abducted. Many are rotting in jails, while others are still missing. And it is our pledge that the first thing that we'll do when we get into power is to free all the political prisoners, all the prisoners of conscience that have been incarcerated by the Museveni regime. And we know that that day is not far from where we are. Um, ladies and gentlemen, now 
that we have completed 2020. Now that we've stepped strongly, firmly and confidently into the year 2021, we can only praise the Almighty God. We can only say, Ebenezer, thus far the Lord has brought us. In the new year 2021, we choose hope over fear. We choose confidence over doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the year that we all have been waiting for. This is 2021. We have been planning for this year. We've been waiting for this year. And now we are here. Like Shakespeare said one time, that let us remember and celebrate. Let us eat and drink to the general happiness of the company and our friends that have not made it. But we are here. We are in 2021. And we've always been saying mission 2021. This is the year to accomplish our mission. We have 12 days from today. 12 days. But I would rather look at it from the point of view of 10 days of campaign. 10 more days. So we have 10 days to determine the future of our country. We have 10 days to determine the fate of Uganda. We have 10 days of campaign and 12 days to a historical election. It is this election where we are going to determine whether we shall remain slaves in our own country or whether we shall free up. It is in this election where we are going to decide whether our lives are going to be precious and valuable or we are going to continue dying like useless creatures in our own country. It is those 12 days, ladies and gentlemen. I want to make a clarion call to all the people of Uganda. I call upon you, ladies and gentlemen, to rise up and accomplish the mission that we have all been preaching. I want to call upon you to turn out in large, large, large numbers and vote. I want to encourage all of you to dedicate these remaining 12 days to dedicate these days to the future of our country. I've said it before, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to say it again, that we are nonviolent. General Museveni has tried everything possible to project us as violent so that he can be able to respond to us with violence. I say it one more time, that we are nonviolent. We are just Ugandans. We are farmers. We are border border riders, we are nurses, we are doctors, we are teachers, we are lawyers. We are people of Uganda that are determined to change the fate of their nation. We are Uganda, we are the national unity platform. We want to change our country and we are doing that peacefully. So to the people of Uganda, turn up in big, big numbers and vote. That is the only solution. We've called upon you in the past to register massively as voters, and you did so. We called upon you to open your eyes, and you did so. We called upon you to spread the message of freedom, and you did so. Now is the time to vote. This is no usual election. This is a revolutionary election. So let's come out in big numbers and vote. Bama Mabadi Mukatali. Mikwano Jangaba Boda Boda Abadini Abantu Abadi Muviaro Yon Nayo Najemuli Muve Yomurun de Mikwano Jange Atemurun de Mubunji Ejo ye answer yo kayoka Akaluru kokekagendo take dagala maluadi Akaluru kokekagendo kukomia etemulino di muba de mula berigena maso Akaluru kokekagendo bulambo buchusa bubereba chtiwa Akaluruko, kekagendo kusala wo obo sobolo kweyo gerira, obato sobolo kweyo gerira. Akaluruko, sebo nyabo, kekagendo kugure nziji za ama komera nezo zibarak, sijibasi bideba ganda ba feba nobianli, ba edimutu wengatebaina musango. 
akaluruko kikagendo kuwa edembe okwe agadira monsiyo kikagendo kuwa citizenship kikagendo kuwa edembe ryobo ntu nawe oberengo omuntu it is your vote that is going to do that and please tubasaba zine naku 12 ezisigaddeyo muziwe yo mikwano jange muziwe yo kulwensi ya mwe kera buli kumacha Oweko go to Sako Waka, Kera Kubulikumacha, or take a common to Muveo, Mubonji, Mulonde, or Nakure Kumenenya, go to Gendo Kuronda. Take a take a mask you, take a take a national ID you, take a take a Kagonga, Uvalondira, or Fue, or Ronde. Nabo, Abalade, Ovate Subora, Mubayambi, Baveo Valonde. It is on the fourteenth of January, twenty twenty one, when we are going to change the fate of Uganda. We know that the regime is planning on a lot of things. We know that the regime is planning to cut off the internet. We know that the regime is planning to cut off mobile money services. We know that they are planning to cut off electricity. We know that they are even planning a lockdown. We know they are planning massive arrests, which they've already started doing. We know that they have already arranged um, factory centers in Mbuya Barracks and other military detention, military centers. We know that they have carried out and they continue to carry out massive arrests. So prepare for that. Tuchimanyi Burundi, the government of Museveni, take a chance to call you. Yesongaluachi, Bari Mukuyola Abana, Bazemu Panda Gari, Tumanyi Tiba Teka Teka, Kuruna Koro, they intend to deploy the military everywhere to intimidate people, to stop people from voting. Bate kateka, okuleta amaje, baga iwebuli wamu. Bate kateka, okutisa tisaba antu babale meso kuronda. Kubaba manjiba, na Uganda ibaba yumu, wonji nebalonda, mseveni akake kaba wakawedemu. Tumanyinti bate kateka, okuleto bululu, okubuyi wamu, ngorede buli tikiti. Bate kateko kusala ko internet. Bate kateko kusala kama sanyarazi. Mubitunde visingo bunje vya mu Uganda. Bate kateko kusala ko mobile money. Tumanyi tibate kateka no kola lockdown. Nyesongalu achi tuba saba mwete keteke. Bebe na mubirenga mubimanyi. Bagenda kukusala magezo kwa ataba ntubanji nyo. Ba agenti ba fe bagenda kufubo kulaba ngababa yola. Bafu banyo kulaba angabuli mtuwa neto lode, obabuli mwagizi wa NUP, obabuli mkule mbeze wa NUP, ngabamu kuata, nebamu siba. Njaga denyo, bana Uganda, mbitegeri. Manyi intibia teka teka, bata itege sena da in fact. Tali center, emu, bajita dembu ya, endala tuina information, bajita dena kasongola, na ene mbitunde bilala. Jibagala, okugatila gatilo mugate, ugwa, omufu, ugwa kulonda. But I want to encourage to encourage all of you, one, turn out in large numbers and vote. And after that, please keep a safe distance, but continue watching the proceedings. Don't go back home. Let us dedicate the 14th of January to our nation. Everything that we are encouraging you to do is legal, it is constitutional, and nothing is criminal. We also know that the Electoral Commission intends to delay voting materials in some areas, particularly in Kampala, in Wakiso, in Mukono, and in areas of Masaka. We also know that they are intending to announce results very late. We want to appeal to you, Mr. Biabakama, and the Electoral Commission, and at the same time warn you that the people of Uganda are not going to accept that. You've done that in the past, but you're dealing with a totally different generation. So, the more you really disrespect the people of Uganda, the more you will be accountable for any result of a bad election. It is in your best interest and in the interest of the people of Uganda that you respect their voices. Tumanyi, timuami biyabaka manaka chikokebio kulonda, 
bate kateka okulu isayo ebironde sebo ebiko sebo mukulonda mu bitundu ebimu nga mu Kampala muno mwenyini nge wachiso nge mukono nge masaka ne walala na itu agala mami biyabu kema biyabu kama na kachiko kebe kulonda obaku bilu mulanga no balabula ndiba na Uganda te bagenda kukiriza nkole yu e yu bumenyi buwa mateka musidise nga bako lebi watu kola kebe kolobero tumanyi inti mami biyabu kama toli mitambo jaka lulukano na inja galo kuwa magezi oleme kubera na mpulira zibi Uleme kubera, nge nsuera jebo gira ko murugero. Hiko beri romulambo, paka montana. Now to Mr. Museven. Jeno Museven. Wakati mkuwe chitibwa. Tuze tu gamba, ne kumulu ndigunu tu gamba. Tetu inache tu kusaba. We are not asking for anything from you, Jeno Museven. All we are saying is keep your word. Keep your word. In Africa, they teach us that a man is noble if he's a man of his word. What we're saying is keep your word. Respect the words that you said when you are a young man. You called Obote and I mean swines for disrespecting the rights of the people of Uganda. You are abusing the rights of Ugandans much worse than the previous regimes. Respect your word. We are not violent, we are not up for violence. But again, we are not going to be silent in the face of oppression. We have said it before and we are saying it again. We are not your slaves. We are the people of Uganda. We are the young people whose future you have robbed away from us, whose parents have died because of your misrule, whose brothers and sisters you are continuing to kill, whose parents lost it all, whose future has gone and we are trying to reinvent it. Be a man of your word. Genomo Seveni, you cannot kill all of us. You cannot. It is unfortunate, very unfortunate, to see that once a prized revolutionary, you have decided to bury your legacy in Mark. But again, if that's what you have chosen, that is your decision. However, I tell you today, like I've told you in the past, that you either respect the voice of the people of Uganda or you will end up like all the other despots have ended up. Oppressed people cannot remain oppressed forever. And for as long as I still have the breath in my body, I will open my mouth and tell you the truth. After all, you go to Gama and the politics is about Kulaba Mukama. So, to Jabi Kugamba Muzei, Ngabe Viri, to Kumanye Chiti Wamukade Wafe, Nemunange, Tetuliba Dubo, Tulibana Uganda, Twins Okubera Boda Boda, Twins Okubera Comedian, Twins Okubera Badimi, Twins Okubera Sisiba Chapati, Nayeno Uganda Nafe Tuji in Akomo Gabo, Ngagwe, Naba Nabo. In Uganda Nafe in Siafe, one over to Zari De, Eranebo no Tuta, one over again to Tuzika. Tuagala Yokubera Monse Yagaza, and Gabriel Mamma Nech Tiba Ngafe, Naba Nabo. Tuli monsinga buli umasa nyukira mune. So te wali nsonga. Luachi obero tuisa ngaba second class citizens. Te tuliba second class citizens sa. Tuliba na Uganda. And I hope that message is received by you with an open heart. We respect you, but we would rather you respect yourself as well. Now, to the people of Uganda, we've told you before, we tell you again that be nonviolent, be peaceful, but be assertive. I say it again be nonviolent, be peaceful, but be assertive. Your right 
is your right and nobody can and should take away that right from you. Please use your smartphone. Use your smartphone. That smartphone is a very powerful weapon. We've moved the entire country from the north to the south and central, from the west to the east. We've been confronted with soldiers and police officers armed to the tooth. But we've noticed they fear one thing, that is the camera. So we are calling upon you to use your smartphone, use your camera as much as possible. Go live whenever you can. Expose, expose, expose. As much as you can expose. I want to also ask you, on the day of elections, the 14th of January 2021, please make sure you record the proceedings. But most importantly, that particular time when the returning officer is announcing the result, make sure you capture that. Make sure you capture that particular moment. I know that we are very many Ugandans. And I know that we can do that as a nation, as a population. All we want is clarity. So make sure you capture that. Because it's a camera you mkwano gwangi. Camera chakuluwa nyisa chamanyi nyo 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 nyo. Tueto lode gwanga liyo nalio na. Ngabatu lumba gana ba ine biyo kuluwa nyisa biyabli kala. Na ito azude ntibati echi ntuchimu bati ya camera. Nolwe nsonge yu njaga luku saba okose camera yu. Genda live o record ingebi gena maso biyo nabiyo na. Or la bise ngabo sobola. Na ye chikule nye nyu. Njaga lo kusaba. Nti recording nga ako kapati. Presiding officer. Walangi li levivu de mkulonda. Nti uralero. Bantubalo onze buwebati. Gundi afunye bulu webuti. No na afunye webuti. No na afunye webuti. Awo. We njaga lo kusaba. O recording nge. Abata sobola ku recording nga. Mkozese audio. Those that don't have cameras. Please use audio, record as audio, but make sure you record it. But no recording a um, clip here, you kubawa a number, kwa mugendo kubanga musindika, biemba mu recording ze. Um, I also want to use this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to announce that for the last few months, we have been building an application. An application that is going to help us tally our election, to tally our results. That application is called Dido. Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll say this again. I want to take this opportunity to announce to the nation and to the world that for the last few months, we have been building an application, an application that will help us bring together the results of this election. That application is called You Vote, and you will be able to access it from Google Play Store in the next few hours. Um, this application will help us ensure that we tighten every news that the dictatorship was trying to use to rig our vote. Can't you get a Muruganda? 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 Can't you Okunganya, no kubala, akaluru kafe. Your application, bajita you vote. Era, egenda kubera available, ku Google Play Store, musawa ezidako, embale. But of now, as of now, we shall be sending it to you by WhatsApp, and we'll ask you to share it. With that application, you ensure that you get the declaration form, and send it to that app. You take a picture of the DR form and send it to that app. 
That can be done by our agents, but it can also be done by any citizen. Because this is not only about agents, this is about all the people of Uganda. And I want to invite all the people of Uganda to kindly be part of this, because this is going to be historical. Um, you up? Again, Akubera available. Eriba agent to buffet. Nayatera, Jacobera available. Eriba na Uganda Bona, the Sobology Cosesa. Kubanga together, Cook Salam, Magazona, Okolava, and Gediba, Diva planning Okubama Kaluru Cafe. Tuziva, Bridge Tuli. Finally, I want to warn all the people that Museveni intends to use to brutalize our people to kill our people and to stay for the voice of the people of Uganda. Brothers and sisters in the armed forces, brothers and sisters in police, all brothers and sisters in uniform and in security agencies, I want to remind you that the majority of you are young people. Choose the side of the people of Uganda and not the, and not the side of an aging dictator who is clearly on his way out. You have read from history, from the past history and even the recent history. There is no reason why you would abuse your oath. You were not trained to kill Ugandans. You were not trained to brutalize people. You were trained to keep law and order. You were trained to keep the citizens of your country safe. So. It is upon you to make this historical decision because this is about yourself, this is about your future, this is about your children's future, and it's about the future of your children's children. We all can live in a good country, in a Uganda where soldiers are loved by citizens, where police officers are respected by citizens where police officers are not ordered to kill or brutalize citizens against their will. We can do that, ladies and gentlemen. So I appeal to all of us to use our conscience. I want to appeal to you not to be robots. Be human beings. You are citizens. You are men and women of honor. You wear our national badge and our national flag with honor. You deserve dignity. You don't deserve shame. I want to thank all of you for listening to me and I want to request you to spread this message far and wide. Thank you very much for God and my country and I wish you a very happy new year 2021. Thank you.